All right, getting to our red bets here for the Rocket Mortgage Classic. Now, this tournament is going to be one in which you're going to have to be scoring. You're going to have to be having a great birdie or better percentage. You're also going to have to be hitting the greens. Those are going to be the most two key stats. Uh, but the golfer that I like the most is actually going to be Cameron Young. Yes, he's been on the precipice of winning a bunch of events here. He just hasn't been able to do that. This is going to be the perfect kind of setup for him. Uh, I do expect him to be in contention once again this week. And I also do expect that for another golfer pretty much at the same odds. And we'll touch on him in a second. But Maverick McNeely, going back to the well with him this week, kind of been on the last two weeks, let me down last week. But uh, 25 to 1, great number for him for a golfer that's coming in, checking all the boxes. Uh, he's made the cut in his last four starts. He's played well at this tournament in the past. Uh, so I really like him. And then, yes, I kind of teased Will Zalatoris earlier. Both him and Cameron Young are pretty much the exact same play. They've been golfers that have been in contention, just haven't been able to find a way to clutch up. Well, this is going to be the perfect tournament for them to do that at. Um, I expect both of them to be in contention come Sunday. Max Homa missed the cut at the Open Championship. I really think that's due to the fact that, one, he's just been playing a lot of great golf for a while, and also due to the fact that he was playing with Tiger Woods, just kind of due for a missed cut, out on the fact that he played with Tiger a little bit more pressure. You know, I'm not too worried about that. Still top five in recent form, right? He's going to be a perfect play at this tournament. And then kind of more of a long shot bet. Mark Hubbard, uh, he's had three top 10 finishes over his past four starts. Um, he's made one cut and missed one cut at this tournament. I do really like Mark Hubbard this week. He is someone that you can go to 